Hi all, welcome to Learn Code Repeat. So today we'll be looking at the day 16th problem of the September challenge. So the problem is we have to find maximum XR of two numbers in an int array. So let's look into the problem statement. So this is the problem statement which says given a non-empty array of numbers a0, a1, a2 till an minus 1 where a of i is greater than or equal to 0 and it is less than 2 raised to 31. Find the maximum result of a of i x or a of j that means any two number in that array where ij is less than n and it is greater than or equal to 0 and uh, could you do this in o of n runtime so this is uh, an important factor o of n runtime because uh, to find the max of any two numbers in an array we can easily do it in n square time right so we can have two for loop and uh, we can check what are the maximum xor between two numbers so in this case uh, in the example if I xor 25 with 5 i'll get 28 which is the max in this list of numbers so let's look into this example so this is the example that we have in lead code so before going into the example let's quickly refresh the xor properties so in xor when you do 1 xor 0 you get 1 0 xor 1 we get 1 again 1 and 1 is 0 and 0 xor 0 is 0 so that means any digit or any binary number if it is different than the other number then we always get 1 right so xor of uh, two different digits in binary if both the digits are different then it will always be 1 if both the digits are same then it will be always 0 this is what xor is right and also we have to note that xor is both associative and commutative what does that mean is if there are three numbers and we are xoring between those three numbers a b and c you can place the bracket anywhere for example addition is uh, commutative and associative right um, so you can place the bracket anywhere and still the addition of the numbers will be same whereas if you have addition and multiplication then it is not commutative right because uh, placing a bracket in multiplication at different places will yield different results right similarly here in xor like addition xor is commutative you can place the bracket anywhere so a xor bracket b xor c is similar to bracket a xor b bracket close xor c similarly it's associative that means that if a xor b equal to c then a xor c is also equal to b and b xor c is also equal to a we'll use this property in our problem also one more thing to note is if i want to set the bit at i index in a number i will left shift one by i so i is the exact bit index where i need to set the bit so here right uh, let's say i is two right so if i left shift one by two so i will get one zero as the number right and if i mask that with any other number since I'm doing an OR operation, so that means uh, even if the bit index is having value 0, 0 or 1 is 1 and even if it's having 1, 1 or 1 is 1. So this will guarantee that that particular bit is set. So let's see how we can use these two operations in our algorithm, right? So let me first represent uh, the binary representation of uh, these numbers in our array. So here if you see the numbers are 3, 10, 5, 25, 2, 8 and the binary representation for that number is this and what we need to find is uh, the two numbers when we XOR that it will give me the maximum number right so any number right which is the largest number it will have its uh, leftmost bit set right uh, so between any two given number if the leftmost bit is set for a number than the other number then that number will be largest for example in case of 25 we know that 25 is greater than 5 right so the leftmost bit of 25 will be set compared to 5 right so 25 has the bit set at uh, 1 2 3 4 4th position right whereas 5 has the leftmost bit set at 6th position right so 4 is leftmost than 6 so that's why 25 is more right so we can uh, use this uh, knowledge to check which is the largest number when we do the XOR right so how can we do that right uh, so what we'll do is for each number right we can go from left side so for this example sake I'll take uh, 8 bits instead of 31 bits right so let's say this is 8 bits right so from left side I'll go one by one and check if any of the number has its bit set as one so from left side I'll go one by one and I'll check that right 
So for example, in this case, uh, it starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'll do 2 raised to 7, right? Uh, so 2 raised to 7 will be the highest number that I have, with, which will give me 1 and followed by 0, 0, 0, right? So what I'll do is uh, I left shift by 7 digit, right? Uh, so this 1 is at uh, first place. I have to left shift by 7 digit so that uh, 1 comes here, right? So I can use this property mask and uh, when I do a left shift by 7 digit I'll have the number as 1 followed by 7 zeros in this case right it left shifting this 1 by 7 right so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 1 will come here 1 followed by 7 zeros right and then whatever is the outcome right I'll end with my number right so I'll do something like this where I'm getting the prefix num so what will happen is if my mask is 1 followed by seven zeros and I am ending with my num right so and will only give uh, true if uh, both the values are one otherwise it will give false right so in this mask right uh, currently only the first bit is one right on from the left hand side from left to right only the first bit is one so this will give me one only if my three is having one at the first bit right so that way I can check whether that bit is set right and uh, I can add that in a set and uh, I can build the prefix num for the first bit and uh, similarly in the next loop in the next iteration I can build the prefix sum for the next bit right where uh, I can consider this two okay so at, at this point if I am at uh, first bit right uh, what is the best number or biggest number that I can have the biggest number that I can have is this number to be set right uh, which is 1 followed by 7 0 if I am at this position after that right the biggest number that I can have is uh, setting this bit as 1 and also this bit as 1 right so what I can do is in my next iteration I will again left shift 1 by 6 digit because now the counter is decreased so I will left shift by 6 digit and then or it with my current mask so my current mask was 1 followed by 7 zeros and then I am Oring it with 1 followed by 6 zero, so it will give me 1 1 and then followed by 6 zeros right and uh, when I use that mask to and with my num I will only get this two digit right and I will get only those two digit uh, for the num and that way I will come to know whether this is uh, 1 or 0 right and since I am adding that in a hash set it will only store unique values right so once I have the number stored in hash set right now we'll come to this property right what we are doing here is similar to let's say that uh, my target is 15 right and I want to check what numbers adds up to 15 right and let's say I now have 5 as a number right so to check whether the other number which is 15 minus 5 is there in my set which is uh, let's say the set contains this 3 10 5 25 2 8 right provided that I have only one number and I know the target I can directly check whether 15 minus 5 is present in my set so in this case 15 minus 5 is 10 10 is present in my set so that's a valid combination that I can have I can say that okay 5 and 10 gives me 15 so that's a valid combination right so similar to that right once we have the set built with the prefix num right now we have to find the target which would give us the best number right so here we will take the greedy approach right so what is the largest number if I am at bit position 1 what is the largest number that I can have I can have is 1 right similarly if I am at bit position 2 the largest number will be 1 1 basically if all the bits are set as 1 that is the best number that I can have right but I cannot set all the bits as 1 and then check uh, in my array right so I have to check within the limitation of my array right what is the best possible combination where all the bits are 1 in my array I can have right okay so what I am doing is this is the target that I am assuming that this is the best I can have now if this is the best I can have then there should be two numbers A or B or A and B which when I XOR I will get the target right so at this point I have the prefix nums right for each bit from the array I know the prefix num right so I can so one of the a variable is this right so what I can do is I can do prefix num xor t okay 
and if that value whatever is the value of prefix num x or t is present in my set right the set of prefix nums right that means that is the best possible largest number that i can have which is t right till now that is the best possible largest number then we'll go to the next bit and again do the same operation there right so the way we did uh, the sum approach right where uh, 5 plus 10 equal to 15 so we subtract at 15 minus 5 and check whether that number is present in my array similar to that we are doing prefix num x or t right let's look into the code and understand how we can implement the algorithm right so we will be using only these three properties uh, that is ax or b equal to c that means ax or c equal to b and this masking part and uh, this part okay so first i'll uh, go over the numbers from left to right right and uh, here it's mentioned that the number of digit is 31 right so i'll have to go through 31 bits right so i'll use a for loop and i'll declare the max variable and the mask as zero so max variable will store the maximum number that I can get from XOR operation and the mask will have the masking operation right uh, that value it will store so at the 31st point it will be having 1 followed by 30 0 and uh, then at 30th position it will be 1 1 followed by 29 0 that way so let me mask the number I am shifting 1 by i once I have the mask then I need to apply the mask to my nums, right? I will apply the mask to the num and I will add that in a set. So by doing the ending operation, I will make sure that only that particular bit which is set in my mask, only that bit is also set in the nums, right? If it is not set, then it will obviously be zero, right? So once this is done and I am having the set populated, now as a greedy approach, right, I will check what is the best maximum value that I can have, right, at this point, right. So that will be int, uh, int temp max, right, that I can have is uh, whatever is my current max, so, okay, so I am at uh, 31st bit, so it will be that bit I am setting and I am XORing it by, with my current max right in the next iteration when I am at 30th bit right so whatever was my previous max value I will add to the next bit I will add 1 that means I am enabling the bit after that right so for example if it is 128 right 128 will be 1 followed by 7 zeros right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right so this is the best at this position right which is 2 raised to 7 right so for 2 raised to 6 the next best i can have it or when i equal to 7 is this is the best i can have right so when i equal to 6 the best i can have is i will set this also to 1 right so that is what i am doing here when in the next iteration i will set that bit to 1 and i am xoring it with my previous max okay so my previous max here was 100 so i am xoring it with my current max that I can have so it will give me this right so that's what I'm doing here so I'm assuming that okay this can be the best that I can have how can I validate that this is the best I can have right so this will be the best if the num in my prefix there are two nums in my prefix when I XOR it I'll get this right which also means that if I go through or loop over my prefix set and if I XOR each number with my temp max, then whatever is the output should be present also in my set. If that is the case, then this is a valid max value, right? So I'll do that here. If my set dot contains my temp max XOR my prefix value the current prefix right if this is the case then this temp max is uh, my current max so my i can assign my max equal to temp max and i can come out of this right 
because we have now validated that this uh, temp max is the max element right we can assign this max equal to this and we can come out of this now here right we don't have to do the check temp max is greater than max only then assign because we are going from left to right and at each point we are enabling the bit and checking whether that is a max value so since i am going from left to right so earlier my max would have been something like this and then i enabled the next bit while going from left to right so the next bit if i enabled my max would have been this right so this for sure will be greater than my previous max right so that's why i can directly assign my max as temp max okay so once i am out of this loop i can be rest assured that whatever is the final value of max that will be the maximum of xr of two different numbers within that num array right because we are going from 31st bit up to 0th bit in the for loop right so at the end i can return my max value and let's submit this so the test case works fine let's submit and the result is also accepted now here the complexity will be o of n why o of n so even though we are doing a for loop and inside that we are doing uh, another two for loops so this in this for loop we are going over nums so this is having a complexity of o of n where n is the number of elements in my nums array and in this for loop we are going over the set which is a prefix uh, array right or prefix set right now that since it will hold unique values it will be always less than or equal to the nums array so in worst case it will be n right so here what will happen is uh, it will be the total complexity will be 31 times n right since 31 is constant we can say that the complexity of this algorithm is o of n okay and in the worst case the space complexity will be o of n as well okay so if you have any questions or any doubt regarding this algorithm you can always comment down in the comment section below if you like the approach please hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel thank you